Hi, this is Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to animate title text in Sony Vegas Movie Studio in Sony Vegas. It's pretty easy to do once you learn the secrets. Now, before I show you how to animate it, I'm going to show you an example I've just created. It took about two minutes of a familiar title of, of a popular TV show. I'll start it and let you, let you hear it. Okay, you know that's probably from the TV show Lost, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Once you learn how to do this, once you learn how to animate text, you're probably going to be able to animate text in any way for any of your projects. It's extremely easy to do, so let's get started. First thing we do is we're going to open a uh, blank copy of Sony Vegas, the Sony Vegas Movie Studio, and I generally go through and delete all the audio and video tracks that I'm not going to use. In this case, I'm just going to use one text track and one music track. And once I've got that on the screen, I'm going to pull up my lost intro music and I'm going to resize it so I know exactly what size I'm working with and to resize things in Sony Vegas you just drag them around push the edges in so there's our music in fact I can play it and you can hear what it sounds like okay that's the familiar music theme we notice here that it's just about 11 uh, seconds long what we're going to do next is add a title to it and the way we do that is we put our mouse in this title track, and that can be a text or video track, and just right click, and we insert text media. And there's our text media screen. And text media is nice because as you type it here, it'll show up in your screen to see what it looks like. So let's type in our title, which is lost. And you notice it's in the screen over here. We may want to change that font so it looks a little bit more like the TV font. And the way we do that is we just highlight our text and we go down and try to find something that looks close to that and I think that Lucinda Sands Unicode looks pretty nice and that's what it's close to uh, spacing is not quite correct on that we'll change that spacing and the way we're going to do that is you use the tracking that's found under the properties tag we're going to drag that to the right and you notice that over here as we drag it it expands so well, that's uh, probably about it right there it looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to go to text color next because that's a little bit too bright for the font that we're trying to duplicate. So we just click on this and we'll find a color that's pretty close. That gray color right there looks pretty good. And we go to effects. We're going to draw a shadow and the shadow is going to be about 0 .030 and we want a grayish looking shadow. So we're going to find a combination of gray colors that we can use. That gives us a pretty nice looking shadow. So that we're pretty much done with text at that point. Now if we were to play this right now, you'll see that not much is going on. Obviously we want it to be more than that. In fact, we want our text to be the same length as our audio up here. So we're going to right click on the text, select Edit Generated Media, and the length here is 5 seconds, but our audio is 10 seconds. So let's change this to about 9.5 because we want it to go off right before the audio finishes. And after we do that, we can drag this until we see the indent. This little indent here tells you that's where that track ends. So we want it to end it right there at that. And slide it so it starts and ends right there. So now we've got that, but again, our text is not animated. And to animate it, what we're going to use is the event pan and crop. We're going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to change the workspace so that you can see what we're working with. And I'm going to drag it over here so you can see even more what we're working with. First thing we want to do is rotate this text here. I think law starts out with a rotation like that. That looks pretty good, but it also starts out with a zoomed out further. And the way we do that, again, I'm doing this just so I can see it more on the screen, is we drag this corner right here and just pull it up. And you notice that the, the text is zooming out. So that's pretty much where we want to start. And to do that, down here in the corner, right here in the first corner, we're going to put a keyframe. We just put a dot there. Now, the other thing we want to do is we want to end it so it, we want it to zoom in at us and turn. And to do that, a little bit more on the screen so we can see it. We're going to turn it to where we want it to end, which is about right there. And we're going to zoom way into it. 
and I'm going to make sure that I zoom way in. And that's going to be at the end right here where we put another keyframe. And to put a keyframe, you just hit the plus mark. So in the event pan and crop, this is going to be our ending keyframe. This is going to be our beginning keyframe. And you notice that if we move this through, it actually shows us what, how the title is going to spin, which is pretty cool. Once we have that, we can close the pan and crop window. We can actually run the title to see what it looks like. So let's do that here. And you notice it, it worked the way we want it to work. Now that's the good thing about using keyframes is that with keyframes you can have your title zoom in or zoom out. You can actually move it to the left of the screen, you can move it to the right, you can move it uh, up and down any way you want. You can actually zoom way in, stop and move it because keyframes allow you to, to control the movement. Now there are other ways that you can move titles by using the placement but I like using the keyframe because it does give me more control and I can do a lot more things with it. Anyway, this is How to Animate Titles with Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas Movie Studio. And I'm Bill Myers, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more tips like this, and to find articles that go into more detail about what we, what we discuss in these tips, and to also see the high-resolution version of these tips, I invite you to visit www.bmyers.com.